This clip is sponsored by Wash and & Go and that can only mean one thing. That's right, I'm surrounded by a sea of green. By now you should know that Wash & Go is the best way to look after your luscious locks. I mean, look at what it's done for mine, fantastic. But you don't have to take my word for it, just look at some of the 600 plus Unreal reviews on their Amazon page. Linda from the United Kingdom says, well, it smells lush and leaves hair smelling fresh. Fantastic, Linda. Kingdom customer JSB says, product arrived as advertised. Always very important. Always important to know that, Kindle customer JSB. And finally, my personal favourite, it's shampoo and it works for me. Absolutely fantastic there from Casey. It is indeed shampoo and also a conditioner. If you want to get your wash and go today, then hit the link in the description and get your bottle sent to you today. And remember, it's a shampoo and it works for me. Good morning and welcome to the United Stand. This is your latest Manchester United news and lots to get through. Um, look, I wake up this morning, I'm feeling tired. I'm sure we all are. And it's not just because I didn't get much sleep. It's because I'm tired in relation to Manchester United. I can't understand how we're out, the, out of the FA Cup. Uh, I think as an individual, individualistic performance, you probably would say that we should have won that game. And uh, we've got to look at that uh, individually, of course, as well. But um, I, I think that there's, there's far bigger questions. Um, this is something we've been predicting for weeks. And I, you know what? The thing that makes me most tired is that we're fans. We're fans of this football club that we love. Tomorrow is a big day in our history because it's the anniversary of Munich. And, you know, nothing could put it into more stark uh, reality that we are miles away from what Manchester United's all about. Tomorrow we will, ser um, you know, we will um, see that what this great club is all about. You know, the Munich tragedy and everything that came before and after that binds us to what this fantastic, historic uh, football club is all about. But we're not that football club at the moment. We're really not. And um, it's it's out of control. It's an embarrassment. And it's being run by people who shouldn't be anywhere near it. I would love somebody to find a way to get control of that football club and put it back not necessarily in the hands of the fans you know there are good owners out there who don't need fan influence but it just needs a vision that's about on the football pitch and and you know what it's not even saying it for effect i'm not going to start ranting and raving we are we are in the wrong hands and it's it's very clear i mean look ralph ranick last night speaks after the game i don't think ranick put a foot wrong last night i thought he, he made the subs he had to make because he only had those subs I thought the team should have won it 3 or 4-0. We did beat West Ham last time. I think Rangnick's doing his best with what he's got. And what he's got is players that act like spoilt children and a board that just do not know what they're doing and stab him in the back and go behind his back. I mean, I couldn't... I was. I mean, I sort of went to bed and didn't pay a ma massive attention to it. But if I'm running a restaurant tonight and I'm short of staff and I, I'm booked out and there's loads of people watching, you know, loads of people are coming, it's big events, and I've got to deliver really good food, and I've got people have got to be given us five star on Trip, Trip Advisor, and I'm short on staff, and somebody says, I can't come into work because I need to clear my head, and then I find out the day before that, that I've apparently said they can have the time off, and they don't need to clear their head, and they're ready to give 100%, and then I'm like, well, it's too late for me to talk about that now, I've got to get on with service, and then after service, it's a bloody nightmare night, because I haven't got what I need, and then... Somebody goes, oh, I gave him the night off. Who are you to give him the fucking night off? You know, and this is what we've just seen with Manchester United last night. Ralph Rangnick comes out after the game and says, why would I give Lingard four or five days off when, you know, I'm having to put two goalkeepers on the bench? So Rangnick basically, you know, Lingard says, oh, I don't need to sort my head out. I don't need to sort my head out. It's personal reasons. And I was told to take the days off. Rangnick says, no, I didn't give you the time off. Why would I do that? And then we hear that Murtar, the director of football, has given Lingard the time off. I mean, this is Manchester United, everybody. This is Manchester United, who on their Excel spreadsheets won't miss a penny. But they'll forget to tell the manager why Lingard's not there. I mean, he is out of control, Ranić. He has got no control. It's not even his fault. I want a midfielder. You're not having it. I want Lingard to be sold. No. I want Lingard to play on Friday night. No. We've given him some time off. Murtar's bloody useless. I cannot... I, I cannot get on board with these fans who think Mert is good. Like, they, they think he's good. I don't. I never wanted him as director of football. I didn't want Fletcher as technical director. I don't want Arnold as CEO. They're all cut from the same cloth. And apart from Fletcher, to be fair, let's leave him out. Mert has been there for years. He's telling Lingard, apparently, that Lingard can have a few days off when we're going out the FA Cup. We went out the FA Cup last night because we missed chances. There's a bigger picture. But I tell you what, that, you know, Jesse Lingard against bloody Middlesbrough... 
on for 20 minutes, he might, might just have finished one of those chances and then we're going through. So, look, it's not a massive jump to say that why the fuck is Lingard off for four or five days? Now, he might have personal issues, and I'm sure they'll come out because, you know, at the end of the day, everyone's spinning a brand, and that's what it's all about. But you're a Manchester United footballer. Would, you, would he have played for Newcastle this weekend if he'd have got the move? Or whenever Newcastle's next game is? And I think we all know the answer for that. It just, it just frustrates me because the bias spin and bullshit around that club, it's tiring and everybody's out for themselves. There's no respect. There is no leadership. We are just a shell, a theme park franchise shell created to make money for the Glazers. And all Arnold is and all Woodward was and all Murtar is and all anybody on that board is, they're facilitators of the Glazers. That is what they are. They can use their journalists to spin positives. Our season is over. We are, we, you know, it's we're going to be get, you know, get get your lips around this. We are go. I mean, talk. We are going to be at least ten years between titles. We last won a title in May two thousand and thirteen. We're not winning this title, so the next title available for us is May twenty twenty three, which we're not going to win anyway. So a decade without a title, and all, and more importantly, a decade without a title race. And at least, at least five and a half years without any trophy. Because the last trophy we won was May 2017. We're not winning a trophy this year. So the next one that's possible is February 2023 in the Carabao Cup. So we're five and a half years without a trophy and 10 years without a title race. And these people are still telling you what to do. God, I, I just, I ain't ranting and raving. It is what it is. I've said this for weeks. A lot of you agree. I am sick and tired of it sick and tired. I'm not going anywhere. No United fan should be going anywhere. That's not support. What? These people who say I've had enough of United are not going to support them anymore. What are you going to do tomorrow when you see the memorial for Munich? Oh, I don't support them anymore because of the Glazers. It's now where we need support more than ever. It's now where fans need to be more vocal than ever, more United than ever. None of this nonsense about I don't like this, I don't like that, I don't like this. Bloody come together and sort this club out because it's a, it's a farce. I'm I'm really disappointed that the, the organisations that can make change at this football club have given up. You know, they're basically having chats with the Glazers about shares and, you know, I, I just don't get it. There should be no conversation with them. They shouldn't want to sit down and negotiate with people who've not put us in a title race for a decade, who've not won any trophy in five and a half years, but let's sit down because we might get 20% voting rights, which we won't get. It, you know, it's a shambles. There's too much self... Everybody's self-serving. Everybody's self-serving with United fans, by the way. You look at head of departments. They're not United fans. They're in that job for the ego and the money. They're not there because they care about the football club. They're not United fans. They are board members earning a lot of money in a high-profile job that looks fantastically good on their CV. The only person I have respect for at the moment is Ralph Rangick because he's actually being honest, and that is why he will be out of a job. There is no way... I was speaking to somebody this morning, and they said absolutely no chance Rangnick's getting the manager's job and to be honest I think United will be trying to move him out completely because they cannot deal with honesty they can't deal with a manager that's come out and said Martial refused to play and then Martial has to go public they can't come out with a manager that says Lingard didn't want to play and then Lingard's had to come out and be public they can't deal with a manager who said throughout January I haven't got the midfielder I need and then the fans are like get him a midfielder they can't deal with that they need an ollie they need somebody who goes, I'm happy with the squad that I've got. Your midfield's crap, Ollie. I'm happy with the, the lads, Scotty and the Fredo and uh, uh, um, uh, Matici and uh, and uh, Pogbario. And, you know, it's, it's all, it's, it's just, um, it, it's, I'm sick of people turning on Ranić already. I mean, I don't see the point in turning on Ranić, Igor. Given the owners, the board and the hierarchy, our best chance of winning the title is scamming it like Leicester. I can't see development. Mate, we are, Bridges, we are not winning a title. We're not winning a title. I, I wish people would shut up about it. If you're going to get excited about fourth place, that's up for you. I think we can get fourth place. But the standards are on the floor. Like, it's not even worth getting angry about. I don't even understand fans who are getting angry. Like, it is what it is. Like, we're, we're in big trouble. Like, the only players with identity on that pitch are Ronaldo, Varane, De Gea and Bruno and Pogba when he played yesterday. The rest of them just aren't good enough and they've got no idea. Like, you know, who was wearing the captain's armband last night? Because... 20 minutes to go, they score a stupid goal. We should have absolutely annihilated them. And yeah, we had a couple of chances, but it wasn't an onslaught. You know, the crowd, the crowd's never really 
up for it in the sense that it's wave after wave after wave. The players just aren't up for it. Too many teams can come to Old Trafford and give us a game in that midfield. And, you know, it happened yesterday. Middlesbrough in the second half actually had a way, you know, they didn't look in it in the first half. Uh, Mark, to be brutally honest, if we stay the same, we are City, uh, we are, and City dominate for the next since uh, will they be as big as this? Connor, to be absolutely blunt, I don't see the Glazers going anywhere for at least a decade. And even then, why would they go? The value of the club is going up. The brand deals are pouring in. The TV deals in the Premier League are going up. The, the fact is, I had this conversation with somebody about probably four months ago. Um, they were a journalist quite close to... Uh, I forget Bridge, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.